To them, I want to tell us that there is a God. To them, I want to be the testimony for show you what God walked me through, where he took me from and to this. And yes, I'm going to show you my scars. I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to show you <laughs> that there is a God and what he brought me through. So I was in the hospital. I'm um, going go back in at the phone again. Uh, bear with me. And I couldn't eat for months. I want to get to that part. I, I wasn't eating, um, which is why I see most of you saying, I got my face done, I got my nose done, I got whatever done. Um, I didn't go to the DR to do a BBL. That was not true. Um, not every time you hear surgery, everybody think a BBL. I think it's something with black people. Every time when you hear surgery, they just automatically think a BBL. I was not trying to do a BBL. Um, but fast forward to people thinking that I lost weight because of the surgery that I did. That was not true. I went into the hospital um, as 200 pounds. And when I came out of the hospital, I was 170 pounds. Or I should say I was 165. I lost 35 pounds because I wasn't allowed to eat. So this is how I was eating. They used to feed me through my neck. I still have the scars. Um, if I don't know if you can see there. If you see three dots on my neck. I don't know if it's there. But yeah, they used to feed me through my neck. And that's how I lost weight. So... If you feel like my facial features, don't think that I did anything. And please stop saying I did my face, I did my nose, I did my this, I did my that. I lost weight. I lost weight because I was sick. I lost weight because I was going through it, okay? And so I was getting fed through the tubes in my neck, okay? Um, so that's really why I lost a lot of weight. Woo! All right. So where are we now? I have so much things to talk about. <laughs> I have so much things to talk about. But, you know, I just want to give God glory. I just want to give him praise. I just want you to know that today belongs to God. Today belongs to Jesus. I just want to continue to repeat it and let you know that when you talk about me and you talk about my story, whether it's going to be good or bad, just remember to say God is good. Okay? All right. So, fast forward to when I came out of the hospital. I lost a lot of weight. I was extremely sick. The wound that I had, they couldn't close it because my skin was rotten. Like, you know, they can't sew that up. So it have to close by itself. Um, when I came out of the hospital, I went back into the hospital again because obviously, I guess because they work on my stomach, I started to have all kind of side effects and stuff. So I had another problem. Lord Jesus, I'm full of problem. I'm sorry. Well, guys, they're about to come get me to do surgery again. As you know, I've been having health issues and this is my fourth surgery. Fourth surgery in a three months. Um, I don't know what to say, how I feel. It's like my mind blank. But I don't know if I think, if me can't bad if me. I don't know. All I know is that I just put my trust in a God and I just leave it all up to Him. That's all I know. But pray for me, guys. All right, so, you ready? All right, so I, I, I went back into the hospital again after I came out. Um, for something that they call cholecystitis, they wanted to do another surgery procedure on me to remove my gallbladder because I was having issues again in the stomach area. I feel like from the moment they went in my stomach, there's so many different things that was happening. And fast forward, I went back to the hospital again, okay? And for this past six months, I've been in and out of the hospital and in and out of surgery, right? And so again, I want to tell you the walk that I had with Jesus, that God is good. He kept me, he brought me through. And so I never intentionally, intentionally was staying away from you guys or was keeping any secrets or was it what I was really just going through a lot and I was going through it. And I appreciate the prayers so much. I remember, you know, hearing that people was praying for me and I was just so grateful. Like, I don't want to cry again or talk about it because it's like I get so emotional sometimes. But I just want everybody to know, say, if you took the time out to pray for me, I appreciate it. As long as it was a genuine prayer, 
as long as you really genuinely cared and you love me and you was praying and you was concerned thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because your prayers went from your lips to God's ears and he heard it your prayers was answered i am grateful i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be alive i am truly just honored to be chosen with this testimony from god i am honored to be able to say that i escaped debt i am honored to be given a second chance to life fast forward to the picture that i posted when i appeared to be pregnant it still goes back to show not everything that you see with the eyes you believe on instagram because like i said not because you see somebody happy and laughing on instagram that means their life is really happy and that's what it is so don't follow everything that you see i never said i was pregnant i said god has been good to me and that picture is just for me celebrating my new life it's me celebrating my journey my walk it's me wanting to have that picture to blow up and put in my house to remember that there's a god to remember that i got a second chance at life to remember that i have a new life um so from time to time if you hear me speak about my first life and my second life do not think i'm crazy because i died in my first life and I was given a second life, a second chance at life. And I do not take that for granted. I do not take that lightly. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks, on all the praise. And I want to say thank you, Jesus, that, you know, I escaped death, that I was given a second chance to life. That was my rebirth. It's my new life. I, um, I do have a song that's called New Life. But I never wanted this to be about songs and promoting songs. This is, this is God time. This is God moment. So the new life song that I have will come later. It's not about that. You notice I'm not playing no songs in the background. I'm not trying to promote any songs. This is not about me. This is not about, you know, no promotion or it's just be me being real and honest and open. And today is just God time. This is just my rebirth. This is me celebrating with you for telling us, listen, bestie, I got a second chance. I'm grateful. This is my rebirth. This is my new life. All the songs and other will come after. I actually, um, big up Coach Starmy. I see you. Let's celebrate this queen. Thank you so much, Coach Starmy. I love you. You're an inspiration. Big up yourself and continue to do the amazing things with the beautiful black woman. I, you know, appreciate that. Kim Possible, big up yourself. Um, I rely on music. Big up yourself. Thanks for um, accepting me when I was in Jamaica. I'll get to everybody in the comments, but let me just give God his glory and um, finish my story because I'm not going to keep talking about it. And after today, you guys can say whatever you want to say. As long as me do my assignment, that is really what it's about because this is an assignment. And so even when people tag me in my ear, they might talk about, oh, we're going to cancel Spice and Ray, Ray, Ray. You can't cancel what God assigned. Let me just make that clear. So but you just back up and forget about that because you can't cancel God assignment. God assigned me for this. You hear? All right. I was chosen. Nobody make me get in a Grace Hamilton and turn Sister Grace found and go. Mm. so many little things in life that i normally take for granted there's so many little things that used to bother me there's so many little things that i used to argue about and in my second life i have changed so much i've become more patient i've become more grateful 
um, little things don't worry me again. And so I just want to encourage you guys out there and just to remind you that the moment you open your eyes is a blessing because just, open, just to be awake is a blessing. So just type and give God the glory, you know, just be thankful to be here. Thankful to be alive. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this new life, this second chance. Um, they say no sound. That's because people keep calling me. Come back, Lord Jesus. Woo. Yeah, man. Um, just be grateful when you wake up in the morning and grateful to be alive. And give God all the glory and the thanks and the praise. Um, so fast forward to that. I want to show you where I'm at with my scar. Um, more update to you know. So that you can know that I have been through a lot. It's been six months. It's been a long time. I know it's been long, but I promised myself I would come on live until I'm fully healed, until I'm healthy, until this day that I got to celebrate my new life. And here I am just telling you guys what I've been through for the past six months. Um, my scar, where I'm at right now, I want to show you um, lifetime because I want you to know that when I talk about my God, that he is king. My scar is very minimal. I don't know if you can see. Um, but that is, can you see? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's my scar in real life. He took me from that, where you see, to this. And you want him to say, there's not a God. You want him to say, Jesus is not king. You want him to say, huh. Being in the hospital and seeing myself like that, laying out, can't walk. Because I wasn't able to walk because I didn't have no stomach. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to learn to talk again. I had to learn to sing again. Lord Jesus, yeah, I didn't even know that I could even talk at one point. When I woke up in the DR, they had some things going through my, my throat, going, holding on to my lungs. I woke up like a robot. My two hands was tied to the bed because they didn't want me to wake up in fright. Oh, mighty Jesus. Oh, God. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to, 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 to learn, like, when I wake up, I couldn't even talk. Um, so many moments, so many testimony. But God is good. Jesus is king. Like, I just want to give God the glory and the honor and the thanks and the praise. Like, mighty God, you walk me through a journey. You give me the testimony. You know, um, so that was, that's, that's the scar. It's, it's fully closed. It's healed. I'm so much better. I'm grateful. Um, the scar is minimal. And I know that with even time, it will look like it's not even there. So I'm just so super grateful. Um, yeah, man. So big up to Father God. Big up to Jesus. He literally gave me a new life. And that's what I'm celebrating. That's all it is. Um... It was never, it was never intentionally done for the picture to offend anyone. And so if it did offend anyone, then I apologize and I'm sorry if it offended you. But it was never about anything or anyone, any woman that can't get pregnant. I sympathize. I have friends and family that went through different things, miscarriages, like all of that. But it was never about that. It was just about celebrating my new life, giving God glory giving God thanks for this new life, for this new journey. It's like a rebirth. I'm a brand new person. I feel rejuvenated. Um, yes, I will be in Cayman next week. 24th, I'm going to be in Cayman. 8th, I'm going to be there, um, Amazura, right in New York, April 8th. I'm coming to Jamaica right after to perform. Um, I'm definitely going to be in Bermuda to perform. So I'm healed. I'm ready. I would never come out if I know that I'm not fully ready, you know, to represent as your queen. And yeah, I just wanted to give God all the glory, all the honor and all the thanks, all the praise. I got that out. I've shown you everything. I'm not going to come back and keep talking about it. There are so many funny moments about it. And if it's not going to be funny, I'm not going to come back and say, oh, Lord Jesus, I went through that. Like, that was my story. That was my journey. That's what I went through. Um, I'm so grateful to everyone. Yes, I did release a song today. It's called God Have Blessed Me. And it's out on every platform. Um, my music video is out as well. 
um, I did a gospel song and I didn't release it and I, I, I couldn't release it. I think I want to do a gospel album. But when I did the gospel song, the gospel song is really what I wanted to come back out with. But it never sound... Gospel is my favorite genre. I don't know if I've ever said it before. But it just never sound like gospel. You know, when people sing gospel, I tell you all the time, you know. Gospel is a feeling. You have to feel it. You can't hear the gospel of the people, them vice, the people, them were right with God. Because I know all of them, they make them trick on you, and all of them right, you know. But when somebody is a true believer, and them have the anointing, you don't have to ask them. You can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't hear it. And so when I did my gospel song, I never liked it because it's like, I'm such, I'm such a big critique of myself. And so I did not release a gospel song first, but I did do a reggae song that is coming out next week. Um... And that is called Spice Marley, my reggae song, yeah. I don't care what I want to say. I got the song name. But God Bless Me is the name of the song that's out today. The video is out. It's on my YouTube. If you're not subscribed, you're going to want to walk this journey with me. You're going to want to walk this new life. Go to my YouTube, look for Spice Official and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and just follow me on this new journey. It's, it's beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Best is, oh my God, if I could be given the opportunity to meet each and every one of you just to hug you just to hold you oh what a day that would be it would be so beautiful i'm so grateful for all of you i love all of you like you don't know when i use that word bestie like this is best friend business may i share with them it's real like my fans are so close to me like i'm just vulnerable i want to share everything but it's like i love you guys you guys was really what kept me Sometimes me in the hospital sick and if my come on the phone, just, just for soon I share love with me. It was just so blessing. It, get, it gave me something to hold on to. And so best is I thank you. I love you. I am grateful. Um, I'm so just honored. That's what I went through. Um, and that's just what my life is. Um, I love you too. It's obviously, thank you so much. Amelia, uh, big up yourself. You know, that's worthy. I love you. I'm seeing you this weekend. Um, big up to everyone. That's really what it is. Let me go back in my phone and see if I'm missing anything because trust me, I don't want to leave out nothing. I'm not going to go back and forth. Um, yup. I think I basically told you guys what the story is and what it was. And I'm happy to be here with you guys again. I was waiting for this day. Thank you, guys. Um, Lisa Mercedes, big up herself. It's a rebirth. Thanking God to be alive. Okay, yeah, she's explained. I, I told you guys, even after this live, we're still going to have people that don't get it. Um, adore, I love you. Big up herself, Sherry. Big up the whole of the England crew. Them, You know I used to live in England. I have a lot of friends there and family that I love and genuinely care about. So, Sherry, big up herself. Big up Sasha, um, Auntie Devon, and everybody. Empress the Glam, I love you. Lava Son, big up herself. More blessings. Um, yeah, big up all of the besties, them. Sister Fenis, I love you. Oh, my God. Let's take a moment to celebrate our sisters and our black queen. My walk that I did, I could not have done it without my little sister, Fenice. Sometimes, them say, if you want to know who is with you, play dead, or if you want to know who is really, um, have your back. It's when you're sick or when you're, you know, play dead. I'm so grateful for my little sister. I love her so much. I would not trade her for any other person in this world. Mm. Yep. She really uh, made that walk with me every step of the way. And I'm grateful to be blessed with a sister like her. So, Fenice, I love you. Um, big up Maya. Big up Denise. Big up the whole of my family then. Big up everybody. Um, big up all my fans. What else? Did I miss anything? Quiet Perry, you just had giant this alive, yeah? No, sir. You must go away and come back. Because you very mixed up bad. That's the dancer. I love you. Big up yourself. Um, Y'all drop some blue hearts for the queen. Thank you guys for all the love. I see all the blue hearts. Remember, I said today is not for me. Big up to God. Big up Jesus himself. The kings of kings. The lords of lord. Um, 
Hold on to him. He's so worthy to be praised. Amen. Yeah, man. Don't know. Big up Father God and say thanks for being alive. To be to be here is a blessing. Dana, go. Oh, my God. Auntie Dana, I love you. Big up yourself. I love you, Auntie Dana. Big up your nice, clean self. Yeah. Um, Empress Le Glam, big up yourself. Continue to be used by God and continue to preach his word and his gospel and continue to send me the scripture. Right. That's so. God is amazing. Yeah, man. Jesus is king. Big up everybody who is on this live. Um, all of my best is them. Tommy, big up yourself. One of my best is Spice QOD. Big up yourself. Spice updates. Big up yourself. Spice 876. Big up yourself. Um, I said spice updates already. Kim Kim. Pretty Dan. Jesus. Do all of my best to them. Well, speak for me. That was my voice when I couldn't talk. Big up on yourself. Um, just so many blessings. Um, thank you guys for loving me. I really appreciate it. I am so grateful. Like I said, for all the prayers that I received, it really works and God is good. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything. New York waiting. April 8th, I'll definitely be there. Next week, we're going to Cayman. So big up everybody we're in a Cayman. You guys are actually going to see my first performance after six months. Isn't that something? Yeah. Start the fun entertainment. I'm going to be in Cayman. Um, big up Twip Twip. Somebody said big up Twip Twip too. Big up everybody that has supported me. Shaniqua, Ray Alexander, um, and your beautiful wife. My sister Fenice, her husband, my mama, Jesus. Make we talk about Mama Jella. When the woman they go for prayer. When my mother go for prayer, good up on her knees and ball, then God could have feel me a muscle crazy. Mama Jella, big up yourself. I wouldn't trade you for another mother. You make me be a fighter. I love you so much, mommy. Like the prayers that you give out. Let me tell you something and tell you something about God and my closeness with God. That's what I tell people all the time, you know. You know, make sense to try to come around me, you know. Because you see me, when God go for tell me about you, a problem. Yeah, I don't want to go back to my first life because it's my second life and I'm a change. First time I change. But I just want you to know that God is good. Um, when I woke up in the DR, um, so what happened was when I went to the hospital and they did the MRI, I was rushed into surgery. And so I didn't know what was happening to me. Like, it's not like they might tell me, say, look here, this happened and that happened, your intestines, this, that, that you're having hernia where nothing was said to me. So I was just probably put the, they gave me the anesthesia and I just went to sleep and then I woke up. Right. So imagine feeling normal feeling okay, walking around, being on the beat, singing, Michael, on vacation. You know, your flight is booked. You're ready for go to Jamaica. You go to hospital. Imagine going through all of that. You reach, your ear say you have hernia. Your ear say, they must go do an um, emergency surgery upon you. You're rushing at emergency surgery. And you wake up. And imagine when you wake up now. Remember you're good, good enough. Remember you walk around. Remember you're all right. Imagine you wake up, and when you wake up, you wake up like a robot. You wake up with things in your nose and things in your mouth. You wake up with a two and tied to the bed. You wake up and see, say, you know, one surgery room, and people are walking around and speak Spanish, and you can't talk. You hardly can't see. You are never dead. You're dead if I sell your day. <laughs> Mr. Jesus Christ. No, sir. When I woke up, I have to put on the phone. I don't know if I got here. I have to exaggerate. This have to talk about. This cannot be a secret. This have to talk about. No, we have to talk about. No, I'm not taking it serious. We have to laugh a little bit. When I wake up, I'm too untied to the bed. Everything in my nose, my mouth. I saw I wake up stiff like a robot. You, 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 you wonder if this is hell because you're in a pain, you're in a at you, your belly is at you, your face swell, your body's everything wrong. Wake up like a robot. And I couldn't speak. But you know, obviously, you know, you can't pray in your mind. For those of you who don't know, sometimes if you're in public and you want to say a prayer, God can hear you if you're saying it in your mind. So I start praying in my mind. I say, God, what is? I say, Jesus, what is happening right here? I say, God, what is this? I say, Father Jesus, I decree and I declare. I start go down in night. I turn Gracie in night. I turn Sister Grace. 
I said, Jesus, I don't know what this is, but this is not what you promised me. I'm going to start going in the scripture. Because I'm going to know my Bible. I'm going to start holding by my words. I said, God, this is not what you promised me. I'm going to start giving them the silent prayer. And I never business what the doctor said to me. Because at one of the point, come like the doctor, them give up, like the doctor, them say me, now nah, I'm going to make it because the infection that I have, the sepsis was like 3,500 and I guess it's never been so high from anybody that them see. They call me the miracle patient. I remember when I was over there and I was healing, it was just like a miracle like them couldn't believe. And I started, Jesus, I what is? And I go down in a piece of prayer. I remember the prayer so vividly. Me never know it. Me did have it in me. Me never know. Me didn't know so much scripture. And when me start praying in my mind, me never be this. What the doctor once said to me, say when he must say we gotta be hopeful, um, that you're gonna make it. Me say I bloody it up and I send it back to the pit of the hell. Me say God, you said I shall not die, but I shall live and declare. I me start go down in the gospel. I me start preach. Hey, hey. You think say me baptize a man again when me go down and say God, what is this? Me say, Jesus, you never tell me this. Me, you never talk about this. This is not what you promised me. Me say, every time the doctor them come worried, me never worry, and me never fret, and me never pray because I believe in God and I know that there's a God and I know that God is. Lord God, you know me by my name. You know me by my number. Jesus in heaven, my kings of kings, my lords of lords, I thank you, dear God, for what you've walked me through. Father Jesus, I beg you, dear God, to be merciful unto me. I ask that you'll forgive me of all my sins and all my transgression. As I pray, dear God, on this life, I pray for each and every one of us that is here, dear God. And I pray, dear God, that you'll continue to bless us in our own little special way. You know each and every one of our issues that we are having. And so, God, we place it into your hands, Lord Jesus. You know us before creation, dear God. And so I just want to give you the glory, the honor, the thanks, and the praise. Father God, I want to thank you that last night wasn't our last night. And I pray eternal, everlasting, Father God. Heal, O him. Heal, O we, chastity. You are my kings of kings, my lords of lords. I thank you for everything that you've given me that you've walked me through for my journey i pray for each and every one of us here on the life today dear god that you would bless us in your special way in jesus name i pray i give you thanks i love you i am grateful for life amen amen i love you guys um i'm excited my journey starts my new journey um starts today um, so you'll be seeing me more often. I'll be going live more often. Um, you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm grateful for you guys. Um, I said I was going to answer a few questions. If you still have them, if I didn't clear up everything. Charts of Spice, I love you so much. Thank you. Woo. Big up, Father God. Jesus, you are king. Ah, oh, still PC people saying amen. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Give God the glory. Give God all the praise. I love that. Somebody say welcome back. Thank you so much. Woo. Famous words say amen. Big up yourself. Somebody still asks if I'm pregnant for true. Oh, wow. After being here with you guys for almost an hour. No, I'm not pregnant. That was my celebration of my new life. I did that for my new life, for my rebirth. Um, God gave me a second chance at life, and I'm grateful for it. And that's what I was celebrating. Somebody said, I miss you, ain't a girl. I miss you too. Alpha, brilliant. My brother, big up yourself. When my dad the hospital, you cook my food, care, come give me every day. When the doctor said, I not have my body like a protein, you boil up the yam and the banana, them. When I, when I could be able to eat again. Thank you so much. I love you, brother. Big up yourself. 
Um, my brother the bishop say that he's loving your testimony. Kim Possible Waterhouse, big up your brother, big up the bishop himself. I am so grateful for my testimony. I was very, tell your brother, um, the bishop that I was kind of, 